Hi, I'm Lene Palmasano. I'm running for Minneapolis City Council, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about about airport noise. Our community feels airport noise in a very personal way, and that's what made me want to respond to this questionnaire, well, a little bit more personally. The FAA's attempt to implement RNAV, this concentrated flight path scheme, threatens the 13th Ward with even more burdensome impacts. Sure, this is about noise, but it's about our air, it's about our water, it's about our health. Have you seen the statistics on children's reading levels when flight paths go directly over schools? Have you seen your neighbors' tired eyes when they say they haven't been able to get to sleep because of airplanes that go over our homes at 2, 2.30, 4 in the morning? How many children are like my own toddler where one of his first 10 words was airplane? Airplane, mama, airplane. I know that the kinds of studies that we want the FAA to do before undertaking this sort of change need to be done by an independent organization. I also know they can be deeply flawed because they deal with things like averages. And well, that's just not how we experience airplane noise. I believe RNAV bent our NAV's benefits to Minneapolis St. Paul Airport are minimal. The impacts on our community is high, and the process to evaluate them is deeply flawed. What have I done to date? Well, I was at those formation meetings with the Fair Skies Coalition, offering input on a mission statement that was whole, that wasn't about NIMBYism, but was about equity for all the residents in this burden that we, we share and were impacted by. Whenever I meet with an elected official, I ask them two questions. What's the best thing a city council person can do about this problem? And what's the best thing our community can do about this problem? From all the answers I've gotten back, um, here's what I know that I could do as your next city council person. I promise that I will get this already budgeted and not yet filled position that is an airplane lobbyist filled so that that lobbyist can work across many different levels of government on our behalf, on behalf of the residents of Minneapolis. There's more of that in my official response to Air Fair Skies. Second, I promise to stay in touch with Fair Skies to be at their meetings um, and to help the community stay organized because that's the other big thing that comes out of speaking with other elected officials. I'm pleased that Keith Ellison, whom I've had a kind of grassroots relationship with, of sharing information from our communities with for a while, is concerned about this as well. He sees this as an equity issue. I'm looking forward to working in all the different capacities with many levels of government to see how we can affect this together. I presume our airport has a five or 10 year plan that we should be, and we should be involved in that in a clearer way, both from a city council perspective and from an organized group of residents perspective. I also believe we should definitely replace our metrics of how we measure that with the community noise equivalent level, not this older outdated version that's been being used. We should make greater use of Runway 17, a $700 million project that was made to divert airport traffic in, into less populated areas and over our river valley. As your council member, you can count on me to make minimizing airport effects a top priority for us in this community. I'll be your advocate to fair solutions on these issues. Please select me as your first choice vote on Tuesday, November 5th. Thanks for your time. Lene Palmasano and please